it's a little bit, it's like a little bit of a hint, it's a little bit of a kiss, a little bit of a mwah of hollow in this polish. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I have more indie polishes to share with you all today because, I mean, it's pretty obvious by now, mama's got a problem, but I really don't mind because these are some beautiful babies. Beautiful babies in front of me that I cannot wait to share with you. Today, I'm going to be talking about Fair Maiden Polish, more specifically, her Christmas collection. I guess I'm still sneaking in the Christmas collections way past their time, but honestly, these are so gorgeous, like you could wear them any day of the year, and they'd be fantastic. So this is a six bottle collection from Fair Made in Polish. All of them are named after kind of uh, the Grinch Who Stole Christmas type theme, so they're fun. They're lots and lots of fun. Let's just jump right in here and talk about these polishes because uh, they're beautiful. They're beautiful. First one we're going to talk about is Merry Grinchmas, the namesake of the collection. This is a fantastic green polish. There are some holographic elements in there, but it's not like hit you over the head with a bat hollow. It's a little bit, it's like a little bit of a hint. It's a little bit of a kiss, a little bit of a mwah of hollow in this polish. It is so smooth and flawless when you apply, and it is just an even bigger joy that it is opaque in one coat. Let me repeat myself, opaque in one coat. I was completely flabbergasted by it. It was so smooth and flawless and just heavenly. I was actually kind of sad I only needed one coat because the formula was so smooth and just perfect. I just wanted to keep playing with it because it was absolutely amazing. It does dry to a glossy finish, but it just wasn't glossy enough for me. I wanted it super ultra shiny, so I did add a top coat to it just to really, really, really make it super, super flawless and super, super shiny and just super, super awesome. Love this polish formula is fantastic colors fantastic winner 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 next we have welcome Christmas this polish is so beautiful in the bottle we've got this ethereal kind of heavenly sky blue base with some holographic like shimmer running through it that is just magical it's frosty and wintry yet heavenly and sparkly at the same time gorgeous absolutely gorgeous unfortunately it was very very sheer but I feel like that's to be expected given the nature of this polish it's obviously very very light it's very very soft so we in turn we are going to have a very light a very soft formula I was worried I was gonna need three coats but I was honestly okay in two when it dries it still has a very nice satiny glossy finish which was beautiful on its own but I just really wanted to bring a super super glossy finish to this thing so I added a glossy topper to it which just really pumped up the hollow shift that's running in there and really just made it absolutely fantastic and gorgeous and beautiful. This next one that I have here is Who Pudding and it's it's amazing. It's it's just amazing. We've got this beautiful darkened plum base with tons of hollow shimmer running through it that is just so dramatic and strong. You can see it from a mile away. Like there's so much hollow in here. It's amazing. It's 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 amazing. This polish, when I was swatching it, I put way too much on my brush. Way too much. So I was drowning my cuticles, I needed sandbags, it was awful. But it is a really, really nice formula once you get a handle of the formula's consistency. I was able to get this one completely opaque in one coat, but you could also do two thinner coats if you wanted to, but I was happy with one thick coat. This is the stuff dreams are made of. It's so incredibly gorgeous. This one does have a nice finish on its own when it dries, but I just really wanted to bring that puppy home and add a nice glossy top coat on it just to really bring out that hollow and to have it come screaming through and to give it a really nice shiny finish, which I feel like this polish definitely, definitely deserves. Next we have Cindy Lou Who. And she She's gorgeous. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous polish. We have a magenta pink hollow polish that is just amazing. It is so beautiful and it, that hollow is very, very strong in here. Absolutely mesmerizing and this color of magenta pink is just gorgeous. It is so flattering and so beautiful and it makes my heart sing even more that the formula is absolutely flawless. It is a perfect, perfect formula for this one. It's so nice in one coat. It was nice and smooth, glided like butter over my nails. 
and I absolutely did not see a nail line whatsoever, so I'm calling it, it is good in one coat, which is amazing, because it's such a beautiful, beautiful color that the fact that you can get it opaque in one coat is absolutely mesmerizing, and it's a home run for me. Complete home run for me. It does have a nice glossy finish when it dries, but it wasn't glossy enough for me, so once again, just like with the rest of these polishes, I added a top coat to it just to really make it super glossy and a glass-like finish. Beautiful color, beautiful formula, all around home run winner on this one. Love it. This next one is called All the Who's in Whoville. And this one definitely attracted me the most when I first saw this collection because it's this beautiful cotton candy pink base with a hollow shiver, shimmer running through it. But then on top of it, there are some holographic glitter as well that make it, makes it look like sparkly frosted cotton candy. So, so pretty. First coat is absolutely gorgeous. You got tons of glitter in there. It's a very nice, smooth application, but it is a little bit on the sheer side. So definitely, definitely needed to do two coats with this. Some might even need a third, depending on how much of a stickler they are for, their, for that nail line. I was super happy with two coats, and I was even more thrilled to add a glossy topper on it. I want it to look like what I see in this bottle, so I added a nice shiny top coat to it, and it's gorgeous. I really, really like this polish the most out of this entire collection. It is definitely one of my favorites. Now, the last polish that I have to share with you is is so cute. This is so cute. This one is called Heart Times Three. And in my notes, all I have is wowza. <laughs> That's all I said about this polish because it is amazing. It is amazing. It is a finely milled red glitter polish. You do see some hints of like gold in there and I can't tell if those are holographic glitters or if there are some like gold glitters mixed in there too, but you definitely see red, but there's like a little bit of rainbow action happening in there too. Now, when I first got this bottle, I kind of assumed it was going to be kind of like a topper. You're maybe going to have to use a sponge to app to apply this, but no. No, 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 no. <laughs> it is it <laughs> Just used. It's good. It's a good one. This formula is amazing. It is so thick and just absolutely creamy pumped full of glitter that it just glides effortlessly across your nail. It does appear to be a completely opaque in one coat if you apply the polish in a thick application, but as it dried down for me, I noticed that I did get some bald patches. There wasn't enough like glitter coverage, so I did have to do a second coat with this one, but the formula is such a dream to work with that it really wasn't that big of a deal. It does dry down a little bit kind of semi-glossy. It's not glossy enough. I just wanted it a little bit more sparkle and a little bit more shine, so I definitely added a topper to this one. Highly, highly recommend using a base coat on this one, and also to be careful in your application because cleanup with this one is a little bit messy with it being that red jelly. As soon as the acetone hits that jelly uh, base, it kind of just spreads like crazy, so be careful with application. Try not to mess it up too much because your cleanup is going to be a little bit more intensive than you want it to be because of the base color, but apart from that, this is a beautiful, beautiful polish and I highly recommend it because it's gorgeous. It's just like melted down ruby slippers in a bottle. Gorgeous, gorgeous. So that is Fair Maiden Polish. It's gorgeous. Now I know it is a Christmas set and we're way past Christmas right now, but the collection is still for sale on her website, so I thought I would share my thoughts regarding this. There are also some awesome, amazing polishes on her website as well that I am very, very, very tempted to try out as well. So there will most likely be another Fair Maiden Polish review in the very near future because these babies are gorgeous. Absolutely fantastic. Loved this brand a whole lot. I cannot wait to try out some more. Let me know in the comment section down below if you have had any Fair Maiden polish experiences, if you enjoy it, what polishes you liked from Fair Maiden. As usual, I'm always curious to know what you guys think, so let me know in the comment section down below. But that is my video for today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you are new, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!